And a pretty surprising turn of events, Dominic Mysterio taking home the NXT North American Championship this past Tuesday night. And I gotta wonder if they are really about to line up the Judgment Day with a bunch of gold. Really meaning, is Finn Balor about to leave SummerSlam as World Heavyweight Champion? You know, I have made numerous videos talking about how I think Damian Priest will leave SummerSlam as the World Heavyweight Champion, cashing in Money in the Bank successfully. However, after Tuesday night, I'm looking at the Judgment Day, I'm looking at what's going on. Dominic Mysterio, the new NXT North American Champion, Rhea Ripley, your current Women's World Champion, of course, Damian Priest as Mr. Money in the Bank, or Senor Money in the Bank, and Finn Balor kind of the lone wolf in the pack. Obviously, Damian Priest not carrying a championship, but carrying the next best thing. And as we found out on Monday Night Raw this past week officially confirmed Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship at Ford Field August the 5th at SummerSlam. And when you really look at the options, meaning Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, and Damian Priest, Finn Balor, you know, for the longest time leading up to SummerSlam was kind of like third on the totem pole in my eyes to leave Ford Field as the World Heavyweight Champion. If Seth wasn't going to retain the title, I thought, well, Damian Priest is cashing in. And I still do think that's probably the best chance because you guys have heard me, you know, spell it out, if you will. I think Damian Priest can cash in at SummerSlam, have a multiple month reign with that title, possibly all the way to the Royal Rumble next year, and then drop it back to Seth Rollins, who I think can fight Guther for the championship at WrestleMania 40. And if you're wondering why I come to that conclusion, well, just looking at the Monday Night Raw roster, where things are at right now, and where I personally think they're heading, Rollins versus Guther is the best case scenario for the World Heavyweight Championship match in my eyes at WrestleMania 40. That's, of course, taking Cody Rhodes out of the equation, because I think he'll be wrestling Roman Reigns, possibly. We're going to talk about that in another video because that may change but i think rollins versus gunther for the world heavyweight title is just like the ideal monday night roll main event for wrestlemania next year but damian priest has the money in the bank briefcase and he's definitely you know should have a successful cash in and obviously he could cash it in past wrestlemania next year because he has till july 1st of 2024 but i just don't see him waiting that long especially because like the judgment day is the focal point right now you know i why why wait and possibly have damian priest fall out of the limelight on monday night raw the judgment day fall apart like if he's gonna cash in the world championship and have a couple of month reign now seems like the perfect time to do it but maybe damian priest isn't gonna cash in at SummerSlam, but maybe he will still cash in in the near future you know as i just mentioned in the beginning of this video dominic the new north american champion rhea ripley holding gold damian priest holding a briefcase maybe wwe wants to put the world title on finn balor at least for a little bit couple weeks maybe a month or so and truly have the Judgment Day taking over Monday Night Raw. Everybody holding the gold, Damian Priest holding the next best thing. And you know, they were teasing a lot of tension in the Judgment Day, more specifically between Finn Balor and Damian Priest, but that has seemingly died down. They have made it seem like everything is fine. They worked it out. Finn Balor gets first crack at Seth Rollins no matter what, and Damian Priest can cash in, I guess, in due time, if you will. But what could easily happen here is Finn Balor wins the World Heavyweight Championship, defeating Seth Rollins, whether it's by shenanigans or not, at SummerSlam, and Damian Priest doesn't cash in. Then we can move into payback in September, either have a Balor versus Seth Rollins rematch or fill in the blank matchup, and Damian Priest can cash in then. And then we start getting the dissension truly in the Judgment Day. And then maybe if that's the case, maybe we get Balor versus Rollins one more time, and maybe a stipulation matchup at payback, settle the score once and for all for the World Heavyweight Championship. Damian Priest cashes in. He leaves payback, which I believe is Pittsburgh. He leaves Pittsburgh as the World Heavyweight Champion. And then maybe we can take that into Fast Lane in October, where we get that triple threat match which is really what i was originally speculating in previous videos to happen at payback where we're kind of just pushing everything back a little bit if finn balor were to win the world title at fast lane in october we could get damian priest defending his newly won world heavyweight title against now the former champ finn balor and the guy still trying to get it back after losing it at SummerSlam, seth rollins priest could retain and then if you want to do one big damian priest versus finn balor matchup you could do that at survivor series damian priest could retain and i threw out the idea in recent videos as well that Damian Priest versus Finn Balor are one on one. They could really stretch out that breakup and have the conclusion to the rivalry happen next year at WrestleMania 40. And maybe that happens with Damian Priest defeating Finn Balor in a big one on one match at Survivor Series, which we think is going to be the blow off to all this tension. Priest retains. And then maybe something happens in that matchup or something happens following up on Monday Night Raw where Damian Priest completely takes out Finn Balor, puts him on the shelf for a little bit. And then Finn Balor disappears for the rest of November, all of December into January. We're at the Royal Rumble. 
Damian Priest can defend one on one against Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship. And then maybe Finn Balor comes back on that night, costs Damian Priest the belt, and we move into WrestleMania season with Damian Priest versus Finn Balor non title heading into WrestleMania 40. And Seth Rollins is once again the World Heavyweight Champion to defend against the matchup that I mentioned earlier one on one with Gunther in the Monday Night Raw main event at WrestleMania 40. And to be honest, man, like you can't go wrong whether Damian Priest leaves this champ, Finn Balor leaves this champ. I'm not going to be complaining. I just really don't see Seth Rollins leaving SummerSlam as World Heavyweight Champion. I think he'll win it back down the line, but as we've talked about numerous times here on the channel, Rollins is, doesn't really have a lot of opponents on Monday Night Raw right now. Everybody else is tied up or not on the show, or he's already beat them. Like he's already, if he beats, he beat Finn Balor, Money in the Bank. What's he going to beat Finn Balor again at SummerSlam? And then that's it. Like he's not going to run it back for a third time if he beats Finn Balor clean as a whistle and retains the World Heavyweight Championship, leaving Ford Field with that title. Like you could try to throw out, oh, well, he could defend against this name, this name. But when you really look at Monday Night Raw right now, Cody's tied up with Brock and he's not going to be going after the world title. Nobody wants to see Brock go after the World Heavyweight Championship. Matt Riddle's got no steam. Drew McIntyre's going after the Intercontinental title. Guther is the Intercontinental champion. Randy Orton's on the shelf. And then you're just left with the Judgment Day. And maybe you could throw in, oh, well, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, they're the tag team champions. Then you're just left with the Judgment Day, which is what we're seeing right now, which is all fine and dandy, but it's just all the more reason why as much as I don't want, I don't mind Seth Rollins as World Heavyweight Champion. I'm not saying I want to see him lose it. It just doesn't really make much sense for me to him to leave SummerSlam with that title. So whatever way you want to do it, if you want to give Finn Balor his due, have him be champ for the month up, up until payback and then Damian Priest can cashes in then priest gets his run and then you really like i said i already spelled it out for you just spelling out the rest of the year for the world title into wrestlemania season i'm all good with it man you can't go wrong between damian priest and finn balor it's a win-win either way talking about win-win who leaves SummerSlam with the gold but i'm looking forward to it man as i talked about in the video earlier this week you know the promo that finn balor and seth rollins had on raw really took my anticipation level for their match at SummerSlam from here to off the screen man it was just something about the vibe of that face-to-face -face in the backstage area with Bauer and Rollins just bringing the intensity up. It felt something like that we'd get leading up to a big NXT championship match and an NXT takeover during the black and gold heyday, man. Just something about it just gave me those vibes and it just made me super excited for Rollins versus Balor at SummerSlam. I'm looking forward to it. And I'm especially looking forward to it because I think this may be the best wrestling match they've ever had. And then, like I said, if Balor wins the title, they could easily go on to have one more big blow-off match at Payback, add a stipulation in there, and you know they'll knock it out of the park. It's just great stuff. The question I'll pose to you guys today is who do you guys want to see leave SummerSlam in just a couple of weeks as the world heavyweight champion do you want it to be seth rollins do you think it'll be finn balor or do you think damian priest will cash in money in the bank and leave as the champ let me know down below in the comments but be sure to like comment and subscribe go follow me across all social medias at noah nation vlogs and i'll see you guys in the next video peace